Well, thank you for your invitation to present this uh, project. So a few first few words of uh, to introduce uh, Hyphen. So Hyphen is a company who, which was created in uh, 2014 and uh, with the ambition to support the digital transformation of the agricultural sector. And, uh, and so we, we are uh, proud to, um, to be able to design uh, all the different uh, components of, uh, of a phenotyping system. And uh, the sensor, the system uh, which uh, embedded the sensor, but also all the processing uh, pipeline to transform the, the data in valuable uh, indicator for our, our end users. And uh, so we are able to design some uh, system for field uh, trial or uh, some uh, um, application in a greenhouse. So we are 27, we, have, we are based in Avignon, the headquarter, but we have an office in the uh, in US too. And uh, we are 27 uh, uh, employees mainly agronomists, uh, some uh, image processing engineer, and uh, software engineer and data processor, processing uh, engineer. And, um, and so we are, we are, we are focused to, um, to try to uh, develop some uh, pipeline, robust pipeline uh, to, to convert some uh, image to uh, indicator. And uh, so that's the main uh, workflow of all of our um, tools that I will present more in detail uh, tomorrow morning and uh, from the acquisition device to the application. And so we have now a portfolio uh, uh, of agronomic traits and ready to deliver value and uh, for different uh, kind of application, different kind of crops. And, uh, and so, so now I will um, talk about the IoT field sensor we developed with uh, Bosch. So the project start in uh, 2016 uh, with the first prototype, uh, but uh, really we we um, uh, we begin to, to to do some trial with this uh, prototype in uh, 2018. And uh, our ambition is to develop a comprehensive uh, uh, crop management system uh, from different kind of uh, sensor uh, or, or acquisition, like uh, so the satellite and or drone to, to do the specialization of the IoT and uh, to extract some different uh, uh, indicator depending of the uh, the, the use of the our uh, the, the the end users and uh, so first uh, like you know a field is heterogeneous so we need to have uh, a maps uh, to identify the heterogeneity uh, on the field it can be based on historic data from satellite but also from drone flights because one iot Answer is not uh, enough, and uh, on the base uh, on this uh, heterogeneous uh, map, uh, we can uh, design, we can uh, uh, define the place, uh, the strat on the strategic uh, zones uh, to implement the uh, the IoT, and the IoT will uh, be able to give some real time monitoring with more accuracy or precision than a satellite or, or drone. And uh, if we have a large network of uh, IoT system, we can uh, expect to have a representative of the entire, entire of the fields and uh, the sensitive zones. After, we, we will uh, process the data and uh, alert when the, 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 there is some uh, event and indeed, uh, an intervention of uh, the, the, the technician on the field and uh, take the corrective action. 
So the Connect Texas developed uh, by uh, Bosch uh, implement three kind of uh, sensors. So the first one, the measuring head with a photo the power photo photosynthetically active radiation sensor and the RGB camera, so 55 million pixel with an angle of the 55 degree F, uh, FOV and uh, multispectral multi LEDs uh, with uh, size six bands and uh, FOV of uh, 40 degrees. Another uh, uh, weather sensor uh, developed by Bosch with a different kind of uh, acquisition, air temperature, relative humidity, and atmosphere pressure, and a soil sensor with soil temperature and soil water, water potential. And all is connected uh, to, to the farm or to the server with uh, GSM 3G and uh, the connection between the, the different uh, sensor is, uh, uh, is, uh, is performed by uh, Bluetooth Low Energy. So we, we did the four years uh, of experimental real life project and uh, I will present all these, uh, these experiments in detail, in more detail. Uh, so the, the first one is for wheat and barley farming. It was with, um, uh, mm -hmm, I remember, sorry, with souffle. It's um, a big uh, uh, business, uh, agribusiness company in France. And uh, the, the first goal was to um, manage nitrogen uh, intakes. So uh, we developed different indicators uh, to, to describe the, the nitrogen nutrition level, like uh, chlorophyll content or other things. And uh, we automatically detect the wheat uh, hearing date, uh, the start of the tearing and the start of the senescence. And uh, we use all these indicators to correct the amount of timing of fertilization intakes suggest by the Avalis model. And uh, uh, we, they, they install different uh, sensors around uh, Europe, in France, uh, Czech and Romania, and uh, to, to measure the difference between the, the crop growing uh, in uh, these uh, different uh, fields and countries. And so to, 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 to to um, uh, ensure the, the better robust, robustness of the, the yield prediction model. For rapeseed, uh, we, we work uh, inside the, a project uh, led by uh, Terinovia. Uh, it's a digital, um, digital rapeseed and uh, the name of the, the project. And uh, so it was more focused on uh, uh, research application, even if uh, the, the goal was to, to, to deliver the, the, the sensor to the farmers at the end. And, uh, and uh, so to, to manage the, the crops and to assess uh, some, uh, um, some time uh, for the harvest, for the best time for the harvest and uh, the yield prediction. For Bonduel, uh, so the, for, for maize, uh, uh, maize uh, we work with Bonduel and uh, Limagrin with two different kinds of, uh, so uh, Bonduel is a big uh, uh, agribusiness in, in France uh, and uh, Limagrin in the, is a cooperative, so with different uh, uh, ambitions. Uh, so for, for Bonduel, it's to the limited the, the travel of the technician uh, to uh, when they, they, they visit the, 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 the field and, uh, and to uh, automatically detect male and female flooring debt, who, who, which are a very good indicator to predict the, the harvest dat, dates. 
and um, and so it was really on uh, the, the indicator and the information they, they want to acquire was really uh, to reduce the, the, the time and the, the, to uh, optimize the logistic for the for the harvest. And uh, for the Lima grain, it's more on uh, um, uh, searching of a new variety and compare some new varieties. Uh, uh, with the information they collect on the field. And uh, for sugar beet, it was with uh, ITB, the Institute from uh, sugar, sugar Beet in France, and uh, for, with Agrial, another cooperative. And for Agrial, it's uh, the same uh, as for the other cooperative, is, uh, is uh, to detect some disease or events on the production but also to uh, to uh, assess the um, the harvest time the best harvest time and uh, the the so we we follow the, the, the growing of the salad to to and uh, acquire the salad volume in centimeter cube the chlorophyll content and uh, and the the, the la uh, for itb it was more in the research context and uh, to, to, to try to find some uh, varieties more resilient to different uh, kind of stress. And to, f to finish uh, the winemaker, it was with uh, Moëté Chandon, the, the biggest uh, champagne uh, company in France, producer in France. Um, and the first is uh, to, to help uh, the, the winemaker to to, um, to know when there is some uh, disease uh, infection, uh, such as botrytis or mildew, and uh, to uh, estimate the, uh, the, the yield and uh, the harvest uh, time and the yield. And uh, the yield is more uh, focused on different, on one grapes, and we will follow all the growing of the grapes and uh, to, to have some indicator like uh, the, the grape surface uh, and shape indicators, the number of the berries per grape, the average size uh, of the berries and, uh, and so. And uh, with that, they have some models. Uh, we, they, they have developed some model and they can uh, predict the yield. So uh, the, the IoT we, we developed with Bosch uh, is proving its uh, te technical works. So it's a complete solution, a uh, robust uh, IoT sensor. It's uh, uh, the, because all is uh, IP66 uh, protected. And uh, uh, with a secure data transfer and processing infrastructure and a web interface uh, where you can, with a smartphone, uh, follow all the results. And uh, that enabled to daily remote crop monitoring and detection of plant growth anomalies. You you can uh, so uh, optimize the logistic uh, harvest uh, time and uh, obtain some very large scale data. And now it's time to craft a killer business plan, and it's not uh, really easy. <laughs> So first, for that, we we, do a, we did a survey of uh, what existing on the market, and uh, at that time, it, uh, I think the, the the study was done in 2020. Only uh, five companies who commercialize uh, some uh, uh, some devices, and uh, no no one uh, integrate integrate all the sensor. Uh, we want, and especially the RGB and uh, the, uh, the spectrometer or the multispectral. And, uh, and the price was, uh, when they embedded such of sensor, the price was uh, quite, uh, quite, um, quite heavy. So uh, the business plan we, we built, uh, assuming different, like you know, when you build a business plan, you, you need to take uh, in account uh, different kind of information. So the the selling price, the subscription cost, 
the, the sale target and uh, all the costs for the industrialization and uh, the, uh, the operation cost. And uh, so uh, to be competitive, we try to, to, to do a selling price at uh, 500 euro and the subscri subscription cost at uh, 250 euro per year and per uh, systema. And uh, the sale target seems to be uh, credible, <coughs> uh, was uh, 3,000 3, system for the first year and after 7,500 for the, for the year, uh, the next years. And uh, with this uh, hypothesis, uh, the financial uh, break-even point is reached after 20,000 uh, 20, units about the fourth year of uh, the marketing. And that's not very good for a big company like, like Buck, who wants some uh, returns of uh, investment more short. And uh, so the main difficulties uh, we incurred during the project, first was the earning energy manage management to, to be able to, to to, to operate the, the, the system uh, for several months. And uh, so we tried different uh, uh, solutions like to disconnect the weather, weather sensor or to, to send some uh, information to the cloud uh, from this sensor uh, with uh, less frequency. Uh, and uh, maybe the best solution is to to do to to implement some solar panel. But uh, so it was uh, another an, uh, issue. Uh, uh, we still uh, work on that. The the second uh, difficulties uh, was more commercial. Uh, the COVID. Um, has put on hold the, its market, our marketing uh, efforts. And uh, one, uh, one important thing is to find some um, distributor to, 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 to distribute, distribute the, the, the sensor, and especially inside the cooperative or the agribusiness, which are the, the, the first market, we, we in the, the, the first promising market. And uh, the third uh, point uh, is uh, on the hypothesis on, on the market, and uh, uh, which are really uncertain, and uh, it's not compatible with the financial and strategic uh, requirements of, the, of a major group uh, such as Bosch. So um, the, the project was stopped uh, at the end on 2000, uh, 2021. Yes, I finished. Thank you.